Hey, Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minute. Thanks for tuning in. And today, a quick MD Minute that is a follow-up of an MD Minute that I did perhaps two years ago, had 60,000 views, was really quite um, popular, and it was looking at that time at the risk, the link between taking the oral contraceptive pill, which is a contraception, and risk of developing depression. So this study, just published in the American Journal of Psychiatry, uh, looked at the Danes, and it looked at a national registry of all Danish women over the age of 15, followed them between the 90s to the 2000s for 10 to 15 years, and was looking at something very interesting. Looking at, of those people, how many of them attempted suicide, or actually had completed, actually killed themselves. And then they went back and they looked at were they, yes or no, taking the contraceptive pill? And what they found was concerning and also not surprising. If you were taking the contraceptive pill, your risk of either attempting or actually committing suicide was double to even triple those who had not been on the pill. They also found that of all the different types of contraceptive devices, the hormonal one that was most associated with the increased risk of suicide was the patch, which is a newer pill that people are taking. It doesn't involve actually taking a pill. It involves putting a patch on for three weeks, once a week, once a week for three weeks, and then taking it off for the fourth week. So my take on this is that contraception is important. Unwanted pregnancies are also something we don't want, but we should be fully aware of the risk. And there seems to be a link, not just between depression and contraceptive pills, but also worse than that, attempted or even completed suicide. Dr. Joe Feuerstein with the MD Minutes. Thanks for tuning in.